Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. This is probably a video that a lot of you have been waiting for. In front of me is an international version of the Samsung Galaxy S4 running a stable version of Lineage OS 15.1. So this means a stable Oreo ROM, which is unbelievable for a device of this age. You may be asking how is this possible? Well, this is all possible because of the JDC team. Again, they've done a fantastic job with this one. It works wonders, much, much better than the previous Nougat. You have the latest September 2018 security updates integrated into the ROM. Basically everything is working. The phone is very fast. Camera as well. You have a very good speed, stability, RAM management is top-notch and a lot of customization variants, we'll focus on these a bit later. All Snapdragon 600 Galaxy S4 variants are supported. This is the international version, but some other versions are supported as well. And no, the GT i 9500 isn't supported and the GT i 9515 isn't supported either. So. Please take note, if you have one of these two variants, do not install this ROM. As always, I will start with a very short installation tutorial. So I'll put a phone aside for a second. What will you need? You will need to have the latest TWRP recovery installed on your device. And then the required files would be the optimized Lineage OS zip file, the GApps package for the correct Android version and for the correct platform, so ARM, this being still a 32-bit device, root method if you'd like one, I usually use Magisk, and of course the Aroma package that the developers are offering, which has a few apps. Of course, all these will be linked in the description below. First step is to boot into recovery, so powering off the device. Now put it into recovery by pressing the usual key combo, so volume up, home and power. At the moment I'm filming this, this is the latest TWRP version 3.2.3. .3. So what you need to do is to make a backup and then first install the latest recovery if you do not have it. So go to install, go to the specific folder where you've placed the recovery file, as always download the image file, not the tar file for this operation. Click install image, the file will be listed here. Click on it and then swipe to flash. After that's done, you should reboot into recovery so that the new recovery will be started. Then go to wipe, go to advanced wipe, select Talvik, system, data and cache. Do not delete internal storage. And then swipe to wipe. After that's done, format data, type in yes and then the check mark data will be wiped nothing will be left on your internal memory at this step you'll need to connect the device whilst being in TWRP you need to connect it to a PC and copy all the files that I listed here onto your device into a folder that you'll make or into an existing folder it makes no difference you can avoid all this by placing the files onto an external SD card. That's a good workaround. If you like that solution, you'll skip this part altogether of copying the files onto the device after wiping it. At this point, you should start by installing the ROM. So go to install, go to that folder where you've copied everything, select the optimized Lineage OS 15.1 version 6 and then swipe to confirm flash. After that's done, you need to flash the root solution, in my case Magisk 17.1, then flash the gapps. I'm usually using open gapps and the smallest package, so the Pico package, with the exact same method. Do not wipe cache and Dalvik after installing the ROM, as this ROM is pre-odexed. After you're done with all of this, you can go to Aroma, and swipe to confirm flash with this as well. Now the Aroma installer will start, I'll give you a quick look. You can see the changelog, 
Okay, so you have here like Magisk, Viper for Android, Adaway, Advanced YouTube, which is a really nice customized YouTube version, Audio Effects, Bromide, Live Wallpaper Picker App, 11 Music Player, Snap Camera, Buff Core Kernel Auditor, which is really nice, and you can customize the device however you want after installing it. Well, basically you should choose whatever option suits you from here and then simply restart the device. I've already installed and configured mine, so I won't go through this again. Then reboot system, do not install and wait for the phone to boot up. Do not fret, if it takes a while, it might take 5 to 10 minutes for the first boot after the fresh ROM install. Of course, you won't be greeted by this. You will get the usual star page where you need to enter your details and email and Wi-Fi network and everything. So basically it's a fresh Android installed on your device. I really like how everything is very clean. So you have Adaway, Audio FX, Bromide, a really nice Chromium based browser with Adblock, Buff Core, which is very nice haven't seen one of these for a long time and it's really useful. I remember the times when I was really interested in customizing this. So you can basically change whatever you want here. You can see some info about the device. You can change a lot of values. You can disable, enable cores, set frequencies, governors, voltages. You should tread carefully here, but if you know what you're doing, you will definitely be able to improve it. Spectrum here, you have a couple of presets. Depending on your usage pattern, you might choose one of these and see what's the behavior. You can basically customize whatever you want, including build prop, everything. It's fantastic. Calculator, calendar, camera, which is fully working. Clock, which looks really nice. Everything is so smooth. It doesn't feel like a custom ROM, I'll tell you that right from the start. So, email, files, this files manager is well, normal, gallery, Magisk manager, and of course, I'm not sure if the safety net will pass, but yeah, it passed, so that's one bonus point for this ROM. Messaging app, Me Explorer app, looks really good as well. Phone app. Yeah, it's lightning fast. Play Store, recorder. Oh, this is really interesting. You can record screen with or without audio or only sound. Very, very nice. This is the advanced YouTube app. In settings, you have everything you want. So yeah, it's the usual settings. Nothing special here. In developer options, the animations are already set for 0.5, so you might not activate this if it's not important for you to make some other changes here in developer options. Basically, everything is working very well. The ROM is very fast, very battery friendly, and definitely the best option if you're still using the S4 as a main phone. This optimized Lineage OS 15.1 version 6 is definitely the best ROM you can have for this device at this moment in time. So I cannot recommend this variant more. It's definitely the best option. I recommend it to everybody. You will find all the necessary details in the video description. So if you want to pull the trigger, I vouch for it. It's one of the best ROMs that I've seen. Thank you once again to the JDC team. I'm not really sure if this is the final version or not. I think there will be updates. I will definitely keep you posted on this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know in the comment section and also press the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more Galaxy S4 videos, also subscribe by clicking right here in the bottom left part. Thank you so much once again for watching this video. This was Mike the Tech Savvy. I wish you a great day. Bye.